Well guys, unfortunately our plans have had to change. We had hoped to be in the Dolomites by this time, but 20 or 30 centimetres of snow above two and a half thousand metres meant it was a no-go. So we had to change our plans and the plans meant we went to Lake Garda, where I think it's quite quiet. <laughs> Nicola's in charge of the plans. It's closed. This is just turning out to be one disaster after another. I know, yeah. Our boat almost sunk. I'm not getting back on one of these boats. Anyway, let's take you back as we start to explore Lake Garda. getting back on one of these boats. I'm not sure they're going to run these boats again. We've just it, been talking to one of really the... really scary. We've just been talking to one of the guys and he was going, it's not like this normally. He said it's, it's actually dangerous. Yeah. So. so they might actually stop the boats for the rest of today, so... We figured out there's one one bus, multiple buses uh, we can get back, which takes about an hour if we have to. Right, run back. I'm not normally... 35 kilometres. I'm not normally that You're worried. You're normally okay. And even we had a couple of screams at the back and the boat was like this here. Yeah, it was like, people were actually screaming. But the guy just said that they're probably going to cancel the boats now, so we might have to get some money back on the return. And once again, Nicola's in charge. I'm certainly not getting a boat tomorrow, that's for sure. Lake Garda, come sail in Lake Garda, they said. Nice and relaxing, they said. They lied. Now, now I have all these other people oh, queue up. Goodness. You want to start kissing the ground? <laughs> don't do it, guys, don't do it. I'm so glad to be here. Nice oh, relaxing goodness. trip to Lake Garda. That was like the vomit comet. <laughs> my legs are shaking. Flipping egg. Hey, Nicola, look at castle. It's closed. Literally, do not let me plan anything ever again. This is just turning out to be one disaster after another. But we have seen a, a Spanish sausage dog. Expensive mistake day. So something tells me our boat might not be running. The next three boats have actually been cancelled. And as you can see, the wind is still quite strong and the, the waves are still quite, quite choppy. And the wife is still unwilling to get back on. <laughs> I think I'd rather lose the return portion of our ticket and just get the bus back. There's one bus we can get back at about 5.30. I think it takes just over an hour. I think I'd rather that than have to face that again. Mm. I yes. don't like boats at the best of times, so that was, I was okay for most of it, but I got a little bit scared as we came into dock, it was, it was not good. I'm not sure how far those boats can tip before they keep going. I think we were right on the edge. Yeah. I really do. I mean, when one of the, one of the crew actually says, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, we shouldn't be out here, so. Yeah, that's time to worry. Um, ruined this a little bit for me, because I'm worried now yeah. about We can get the back. bus, we can get the yeah. bus. Anyway, let's carry on dandering. So 
I think this is where the public swimming pool and the public beaches. You can probably hear that wind as well. It is not a bearing. Nicola checking out the sea conditions. Just like being back in Port Ross. But yeah, so much for a calm day on Lake Garda. So we're now doing the panorama walk and it smells a little bit like poo. Great first impressions of Garda. Nicola going beyond the dots on the map. Well guys, good morning. And just to kind of rub our noses in it, we see the ferry leaving again. Lovely flat water. What an interesting day. Oh. So the last little bit of footage that I showed you there was us queuing up. They canceled all of the boats. And so we had to get a bus back. So we queued up to get the bus. We ended up meeting a bunch of other English folks. And between us, we managed to work out that we had to get a couple of buses to get back to here. And that's where the fun stroke type two fun started. So after being about 30 minutes late for the first bus, we managed to get on. Um, they literally shoved us on as though we were on an, an Indian train, basically. I'm surprised we weren't sitting on the roof. Made it to the, the station, um, bought a ticket, and there was a bus expected in a few minutes. We had just missed one, unfortunately. To put this into context, the journey from <laughs> Simeone back to Garda should have taken about an hour and a bit, including a little bit of just hanging around. Four hours later, not one bus in sight. No. Um, and we were ringing taxis, no taxis. Um, even taxi drivers, when they were rung up, saying, take the bus. And we're going, there's no buses. The boat people were saying, don't even think about a boat. So we were all completely stranded. Yeah. And then we saw the bus that we wanted, and it was going to come past us, turn around and come back. And I sort of waved him down, and he held out his, he opened his window, and he was like, one hour, I go eat my dinner. And we were like, you're kidding, we've been here four hours. I know. So basically, at about, I think it was eight o'clock, half eight? Just after, about Just quarter after past eight, eight, yeah. A bus finally turned up and we managed to get back here five hours after leaving Simeone, back to yeah. Garda. And we'd only spent about two hours in Simeone. So a couple of things from, from yesterday. If you come here and it's any way windy, don't, don't be tempted to get on a boat. No. I mean, that was dangerous yesterday. I know we mentioned it a couple of times, but thinking back on it, thinking it really back, was. Thinking back, yeah. I mean, when the boat tipped that last time, we literally fell, almost fell over. Yeah, it, was, it was really bad. So don't get on a boat if it's windy. Secondly, if you're going to go over to one of the other towns, get the first boat of the morning around half eight and get there before everybody else is getting up. Yes. Because it was crazy ridiculous. And this is the middle of September. Anyway, lesson learned. Yeah. But what we decided to do is we've decided to stay in Garda because we didn't even get to see look around Garda. And then tomorrow we're going to move to the north of the lake and explore some of the places up there which look a little bit more mountainous and a little bit perhaps, perhaps, a little less, less busy, famous last words. But what we're probably not going to do is go on, get on any more boats or any more very long bus journeys. <laughs> yeah, because you can get to Riva del Garda from Garda and it's about an hour or so on the bus, but we just don't want to risk not being able to get back from that distance. I know. So. But now we're going to head back to the ticket office and see if we can get a oh. refund of half the cost of the ticket because the guy in Sermione said we could, but we had to come back here. Yeah. Now I'm not confident it's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, and the, and the ticket prices as well. I'm not sure whether we mentioned it. Oh yeah, it. crazy. They 38 crazy euros prices. return yeah. for the two of us, just to that one place. Yeah. I was expecting 10 euro prices. But anyway, let's go explore Garda. There may or may not be a coffee involved. Oh yeah, and Ovi and Simeone, we didn't do it. An ice cream, eight euro per scoop. In fact, we didn't buy anything there. We just wandered around feeling stressed no, no. and then tried to get home again. Right, let's go see whether we can have any success getting our money back. Bonus, we got our money back. Well, we got half the money back. No quibbles, no nothing whatsoever. So I think Nicola just said there off camera that given the fact we also had to pay for a bus ticket back, we're eight euros up. No, no, nine euros 20. Oh, we could have ordered, afforded one scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go find a bakery. We're going to spend that money on a coffee now. Grab a coffee and go and sit and watch very calm looking Lake Garda. We've just 
actually bumped into a couple that was with us yesterday traveling back. There was a group of six of us all sort of got together. She was on her, her translate looking for the word for a refund. Yeah, they were going to get their refund. And I think she sort of summed it up. She said when they got to their hotel, she actually started sobbing because the adrenaline and the emotion of the day. And it was, you know, when you think back to it, it was quite scary. And then we were miles from here. So I think we're just all relieved to get back. And we're all shattered. Oh. Absolutely, They said the same, they were just exhausted. Right. Leisurely day today. Coffee time. So good morning guys. So after a pretty rainy start, we have driven about an hour north to the top of Lake Garda. And we're actually now in Riva del Garda. And to say the landscape has changed somewhat is a bit of an understatement. We're now surrounded by the sort of the beginnings of the Italian Alps, the gateway to the Italian Alps. And to say it's rather nice here. It is, it's lovely. Again, it's a bit of an understatement and a completely different feel to where we were down in the south. It's very quiet. Well, we haven't been into the main town yet, but we're going to base ourselves here for the next couple of days and explore some of the villages, some of the towns on the northern point. And fingers crossed, maybe we might even convince ourselves to go back on a boat, but that is going to take some serious convincing. But yeah, so we're just going to wander now into Riva del Garda. I'd literally just removed the key from the ignition, got parked up, thought I'll have a coffee, and someone went, I haven't got any bread. <laughs> I've got really excited. Guess what I've just spotted? What? A funicular. Okay. Leading up to a castle. <laughs> Look. I check it out first before. And that's before her bread run. Well guys, we have wandered along about 2K, 2.5K to another little village beside where we're staying and that's Torbele. I'm not sure whether we say it. Or Torbol, I don't know how you pronounce it. I said Torbolais, that's on me. Yeah, we're staying in Riva del Garda, so about 2k. It's nice actually, it's a nice coastal walk right the way along. Really busy with lots of bikers and obviously this is a very uh, popular windsurfing area as well. But we haven't really got a huge amount of plans today. We're just enjoying the fine weather, exploring Torbolais. <laughs> Thankfully all the castles that Nicola's been pointing out are either closed or that one that she was thinking of going yeah. up. Is you a restaurant. Can, yeah, you can go up, but it's eight euros just to go up. And uh, if they're not going to feed me for free at the top, yeah, I'm not going. It doesn't include a burger. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to explore Torbele, have a bit of a relaxing afternoon, and we'll see what we can see. Our air is already full. It was full by 1 p.m. So if yeah. you come in here, even in September, you need to get there early. There is no low season no, in Lake Garda. There is not. Well, there may be. It might be in December. We don't know. We haven't been here then. And we're still rambling. Yeah, so Nicholas just had us up a nice viewpoint looking over the, the village. I was walking up there thinking, I'm not sure if it's actually here because I couldn't find it, but then we had to walk up some steps and it was actually stunning, really nice. Really nice. I love villages that have like a big mountainscape in, in the background. Really quite beautiful. And I've just found some other steps which I think might take us back to the town, but who knows? I've got us up here, so maybe I get us back. 50 50, eh? If we end up out here for another 11 hours, at least you got us up here. Exactly. Let's see whether she's right. Well, guys, that is us now back at Riva del Garda. Nice little meander up along the coast. Although it was hard resisting all the pizza, pizza places on the way back, Nigel's my conscience. You were the one who said you wanted stir fry? <laughs> yeah, and then I wanted pizza. <laughs> Gotta live by the sword, die by the stir fry. Apparently so. Anyway, so we are going to head back to the van. Have stir fry. Have stir fry. And I guess we'll catch up tomorrow morning when we're going to explore one of the other villages here on the north part of Lake Garda, which <laughs> is definitely the nicer part of the uh, lake. Yeah, much more chilled out vibe yeah, here. Yeah, really nice, very nice. Let's just hope the buses work tomorrow. Mm. We'll see you then. Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the very popular Limone on Lake Garda and once again the cooks on tour are causing carnage so we completely scrubbed out getting the boat after our 
last mission on the boat. So we decided to get the, the bus from River, River, Riva del Garda down to Limoni. Should be a 15 minute journey. And a bus turned up that didn't look like a normal public bus. And in fact, it looked like a tour bus. So we get on, Nicola tries to pay, and the guy's like, nah, just like, nah just don't bother. So I think we ended up partly on a tour bus, and now we're in Limoni, but that means we didn't have to pay for a bus, which means we can spend it on coffee and cake. Bingo! But I just popped into the tourist information to ask about bus tickets to go back, and um, he said you can buy them there or you can buy them on the bus, and it's 150 euro each more if you buy them from the driver. So we will go and get one on the way back. But I said, well, we just got on the bus and we couldn't pay and he just waved us on. Is that normal? And he's like, no. Welcome to Limoni. It's going to be a busy one. The thing everyone will tell you about Limoni is it's to do with lemons and you'll see lemons everywhere. But apparently it's not. It's a big ruse. It's actually something to do with borders. Now, I could be completely wrong there because there are a lot of lemons about. <laughs> Including this, us. This one included. <laughs> But yeah, I don't think the name Limoni is to do with lemons. I think they've built on top of that. It's something to do with borders. But yeah, I might be setting myself up for a big fat lemon failure. Oh, I could do some lemon tort right now, actually. Yes. Although I was trying to avoid sweet stuff today because unfortunately I had a bad migraine in the night. Um, undeservedly so, because I hadn't been drinking or anything. So if you're trying to avoid sweet stuff, why are you so close to me? and get a selfie with one of those things. Now, of course, Nicola walks on by that, but if that had been a dot on our map, she'd have been getting a selfie too. Yeah, but they're getting free drinks. <laughs> yeah, but it's water. Oh, is it? Mm. Oh. Getting a little bit crowded, folks. And just when you thought it couldn't get any more crimped, uh, we'll just bring a car through. No, we'll bring two through. <laughs> Flashbacks to Simeone. Ten deep. And somewhere in the horde, I've lost Nicola. I think she's been eaten alive. Everyone seems to have stopped back there for the homemade focaccia, which did look pretty good. Unfortunately, as usual, in a touristic uh, town, mucho, mucho expensive. Oh, she's gone up here. Well, hey. Yeah, we went to go get coffee. Four euro for a little tiny cappuccino. No, thank you. Nicola has brought us apparently to a panoramic view of Limone. We're still not quite sure. Oh, look at this bad boy. Oh, bit of a reach. And there you have so-called panoramic of Limoni. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not overly impressed. Well guys, that is our time in Lake Garda, done and dusted. Definitely prefer the north. Yeah, the north was nice. Just a couple of little tips. So obviously, as we said in the vlog, if it's any way windy, I would certainly have two thoughts about going back out onto the lake again because- What the heck is that? There's two flies having intercourse. Oh, sorry, sorry. Also the buses, very infrequent, not really reliable. And when you get on the bus, it feels like it's being driven by Barry Sheen. The two hours we stayed at, the little camper stops, really well worth it. The one mm -hmm. in Garda was 24 euros for 24 25. hours. 25 euros for 24 hours, and that included toilets and shower. And then the other one was... One euro per hour, up to 48 hours. Yeah. And then five euros per hour after that. But yeah, both of those worked out really well. And given the fact that the campsites had doubled the cost, if you're only there for a couple of days, definitely worth it. Much preferred the north of Lake Garda, as you would expect. Very busy in the Simeone in Limone, and also very expensive again. As we said, Simeone ice cream, eight euros per scoop. Mm -hmm. And I say those two coffees, if we had had them, they were like four euros. Whereas if you come back into uh, Riva del Garda, the coffers were back down a bit more manageable. 280, price. I think 280. we paid. My favourite was definitely Riva del Garda because it's much more spread out. You've still got all the historic stuff, but you can move around much more easily. Yeah. 
And it's nice, you've got a long walk along the front, you can walk into Torbellay. But we are now on our way to our next destination. We've actually stopped over in Bergamo. We're not going to record anything here. Um, <laughs> I'm going sightseeing. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. But um, next week, we're hoping to spend a couple of days exploring Lake Como. As I said, a bit disappointed that we haven't been able to get up into the mountains because of the weather. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make the best of a bad bunch. And thankfully, the weather so far has been playing ball. But yeah, next week, we'll be in Lake Como. And just on that decision, we actually got speaking to a local lady there whose friends were in the Dolomites. And yes, it was very snowy. Very snowy. So it was the right decision. It was indeed. But anyway, well, we hope you enjoyed our little mitch around Lake Garda. Give it a go. I would give it, you know me, kind of five out of ten, six out of ten. Yeah, I'd probably go six, six actually. Not yeah. much more. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, guys, well, once again, thanks a lot for following along. And until next time in Lake Como. And I'll let you know what this town's like when I get back. Only if I put it on the vlog. Take care, guys. <laughs> Bye-bye.